Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install Lollipop on Windows using Fitralbox. So first things first, you need to download Fitralbox, which is in the description, and also the Lollipop ROM. So run this setup for Fitralbox, and we're going to go next, next and we're going to go next and we're going to go yes and install okay and we're going to go install and I'll just go always trust software so it starts popping up Okay, so we're going to start Oracle, so the Fitral box, so finish, and you'll end up with a window looking like this. Okay, so we now need to go on to new, so we can create a new Fitral machine. And we're just going to simply type in Android Lollipop. Okay, and as you can see, it's automatically changed our type and our version. Okay, so I'm just going to change that to Oracle 32 bit. Okay, so we're now going to go next. And for this bit, we're going to set the memory to 2048. Okay, so. Now we're going to go next again, and we're just simply going to go create. Okay, so we're now going to go VDI, so virtual box, box disk image. We're going to go next, and we're going to go fix size, and we're going to go next. Okay, and we're going to just leave it on 12 gig. And we're going to go create. Okay, so as you can see, it's now creating our hard drive. So our virtual box there. Okay, so as you can see, we've now created our virtual machine. Okay, so we now need to go on to settings. And as you can see, it's loaded up the settings for this virtual machine. Okay, so we're going to go down to storage. And then we're going to go on this, see this little disk here where my cursor is hovering over. We're just going to click on that little disk, so the plus sign, and we're going to go choose disk. Okay, so we're going to go to our desktop, and remember that file you downloaded earlier, so the disk image. We're now going to select that, and we're going to go open. Okay, so as you can see, it's added that .iso there. Okay, so once you've done that, We are now going to select that ISO and we're going to go OK. OK, so we're now going to go Start. And we're now going to go down to Install Android to Hard Disk and press Enter. And we're going to go create slash modify partitions. And we're going to go new. And we're going to go primary. And we'll just leave the size at the default. So 12880. And we're going to press enter. OK, so now we're going to press the right arrow. And we're going to go across to right. And we're going to simply type yes. And then press enter. And as you can see, it's right and table to partition.
Okay, so once you've done that, we're now going to use the right arrow and go to quit. And we're now going to select that SDA1 Linux. So we're going to press enter again. And we're going to go down to ext3. And we're going to press enter. Are you sure you want to format this partition? We're just going to go yes. So as you can see, it's formatting. Okay, so do you want to install bootloader grub? We're going to go yes. And we're going to go yes again. So do you want to install slash system directory as read write? So yes. So as you can see, it's installing Anitroid now. Okay, so once you've done that, we're now going to go on to, let's just go OK to run Android. And we're just going to simply go machine and ACPI shutdown. So we're going to shut down our machine quickly. So power off the machine. And we're now going to go settings. And we're going to go back down to storage. And we're now going to select that .iso that we added earlier and we're going to select remove so down here okay so we've got no cd in there now no iso and we're going to go okay and we're now just going to start our machine back up so as you can see it's booting up android now lollipop Okay, so I'm now going to select my country, so United Kingdom English, and I'm going to press next. Okay, so I'm going to skip this bit because obviously I don't need a mobile service as we're just running it on my Windows. So we're just going to skip anyway. Okay, so select Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip that as well. Okay, so here you can sign into your Google account. Just for now, I'm going to um, go skip. So down the bottom right-hand corner here, skip. And I'm going to go skip anyway. Okay, so here I've seen set up your time and date. So that's all fine. We're just going to go next now. And I'm just going to type in my name. So I'm going to just put computer sluggish for now. Okay, and I'm now going to go next. Okay, so just going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. And then we're just going to go next. And we're going to go finish. Okay, and that is how you install lollipop onto windows i hope this tutorial helped remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more